on this National Day of Prayer, America is engaged in a fierce battle against a very terrible disease. Throughout our history, in times of challenge, our people have always called upon the gift of faith, the blessing of belief, the power of prayer, and the eternal glory of God. I ask all Americans to join their voices and their hearts in spiritual union as we ask our Lord in Heaven for strength and solace, for courage and comfort, for hope and healing, for recovery, and for renewal. In recent days and weeks, our country has endured a grave hardship. We pray for every family stricken with grief and devastated with a tragic loss. We pray for the doctors, the nurses, and first responders waging war against the invisible enemy. We pray for the scientists and researchers, pioneer treatments, that they find therapies and vaccines, and that they find them soon. We pray for the frontline workers keeping our nation fed, nourished, and safe and secure. May God watch over them all. We are honored to have with us today our amazing Vice President, Mike Pence, and his wonderful wife, Carrot, great friends of our nation and great friends of mine and Melania's. And somebody's done an incredible job, not only as Vice President, but as heading the task force, which has come up with so many solutions and ideas and things that we didn't even think about two months ago. We're also profoundly grateful to be joined by many faith leaders who are helping to care for our neighbors in their hour of need. Thank you all for providing meals to families, medical supplies to hospitals, and for providing spiritual strength and encouragement to your communities. Very important people, very respected people, and very much loved people. In every part of our country, we've seen grace of God through the love and devotion of our fellow citizens. As Scripture assures us, the Lord your God is not your midst, a mighty one who will save. And I think it's, uh, I think it's so true to think of that. The Lord your God is in your midst, a mighty one who will save. We have been reminded once again that God has blessed our land with heroes of faith. 